Hello Oracle Geeks, this is Justin, and in this Oracle YouTube video tutorial we're going to show you how to multiplex or mirror, if you will, um, online we do log files. Now, there's another video out there called how to mirror multiplex control files of an Oracle database. This is like the same thing, okay? You have redo log files, and if you want to know more about what redo log files do and how they work, uh, refer to my Oracle architecture videos and my internal um, Oracle structure videos. I really discuss and get into detail of how that works. Um, but it's really a good idea to protect your redo log files. Okay? Um, there are various recovery reasons for that. We won't get into that to that video uh, this because this video is only specifically showing you how to mirror them. So let's start by logging into our finance Oracle database. And of course, we set our Oracle SID to finance. We ensure it's set properly. And we log into our finance database using SQL Plus. We ensure that we are connected to the correct database. Finance comes back so we know we're good. And we take a look at our online redo log files for this database. And as we can see, we have three of them. Re, uh, redo01a.log, redo02a.log, and redo03a.log. And they all reside in C drive on this on this computer under slash database slash or data slash finance. It's all the same. Okay? And if we look at it at the OS level, we will see these files. Database, CD database or data finance, DIR log. There they are. Now, if we type in the following, we're going to type in select name from the log file where, I'm sorry, select member from the log file where group number is equal to 1. Where group number is equal to 2. And where group number is equal to 3. And you'll see that for each group you'll get for group one you'll get this this file for group two you'll get this file and for group three you'll get this file each this tells us that each file belongs to a group and what so we know that there's three redo log groups what we also know is that there apparently can be members that's what member means group members to these groups see it's all coming together now okay and we know that in this configure current database configuration for finance there is one redo log, one member of each group. So you have three groups of online redo logs for this database, and each group has one member. Okay? So what we want to do is we want to make the we want to um, enhance the redundancy of our Oracle database at a redo log online redo log file level. So first thing we should do is we want to add members to each log file. And this is and this is how we do it. I like to have three members per law per group. Okay? So how we do that is the following. Let's start with one. Alter database add log file member. And we type in where the name we want it to be. Remember it can be anywhere. C colon slash database or data finance redo zero one B log to group one. Let's dissect this command for a second. We're saying alter database add log file member. So we're saying we want to add a member to group one. And the member is going to be redo01b.log. Notice the naming convention. Redo01a.log says that that's the first member of that group. B says that it's the second member of the one group. So by looking at the file name alone, it's self-documenting, right? you know what 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 member he is B the second member of what group one okay so hit enter files added now we add the third member to group one which is C so now group one has three members we do zero one a zero B one B and zero one C now we're going to add two members to group two so we change that to two and we say to B and Q 
keeping with group 2, we say 2C. And finally, we want to do the same thing to group 3. So we're going to get 3A, I mean 3B, sorry, and 3C. Now, when we do select member from V log file, we will see that there's three ones, one A, B, and C. There's three twos, two, here's it, A, B, and C, and there's three threes. Three A, three B, and three C. Okay, nine total. Three per group, three and three groups. Three times three equals nine. And if we DIR everything that ends with the extension log, all the files that have a log in our directory, we will see all the files, all nine files. There they are, nine files selected. Okay. And if I ask Oracle, if I say, if uh, this comes back, there it is. Select member from V log file where group equals one. Oops. We will get the three file members, these are all members, see member, that are in group one. We do one we do zero one A, zero one B, and zero one C. If we say show us everything that's in two, we now see all three members of that. Two A, two B, two C. And if we say group three, we will see three A, three B, and three C. Now these are all copies of one another. Okay, when Oracle writes redo, redo are, is base, are basically changes to the database, to the tables in the database, to the data. Okay, and every time you're working with a database, you're making changes. The database itself is internally making changes constantly. Okay, to the internal structure of the data dictionary and things like that. All right, so in a real world, you can see that all members and all groups all all remain in the same are on the same disk and and based and what you would do in a real world environment is each redo log group like redo log group 1 for instance each one of these files would be on a different disk on a different disk controller okay so if one disk goes bad you still have two other members that you can refer to the same thing with two every member of the of group 2 will be on different disks with different disk controllers and the same thing with three. They'd be on different disks with different disk controllers. Now, with the advent of SAN and, and um, other and advanced disk subsystems are out there today, um, high-tech sub subsystems, um, the terms isn't controller anymore for the most part, but you know, you kind of get the idea. You kind of want to separate it, all right, and it protects you. All right, so we have multiplexed our redo log files, and that's you always want to do that. So one is these are all going to be have the identical data in them through the operation of your database. These will all have identical data in them, and these will all have identical data through them. So if you ever lose one, you always have two others to go back on, and you should be good. Okay, that's how you multiplex mirror your redo log files, and I recommend it for any production Oracle database. Thank you.